Post, how are you doing? Very good to see you here at Horizon Work Group. I wish you were in person with us in Hawaii, but I am uh, super excited to meet you here in the metaverse. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. As much as I do love Horizon Workrooms, I would also like to be with you in Hawaii. That sounds great. Uh, but thank you for having me. And, and uh, you know, I'm glad we could do it this way. Uh, it's the next best thing to be in there. I, I agree. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you for participating in our event. Look, I want to just start to level set us. Uh, from your perspective, tell us what's going on with the metaverse. Yeah, you know, for us, the metaverse is something that um, we've really been working towards for a long time. If you think about what the mission of Meta is to help people feel connected, um, we, we've done so much great work uh, in the mobile phone era, all powered by the internet over the last, uh, you know, 15, 20 years. Um, and yet, here we are in a global pandemic, and it just is not the same, just like we were just saying, it's not the same as being there. Now, let's be honest, this isn't the same as being there either, but it's a, certainly a much richer experience than we get uh, as relative to mobile phones or little panels on a screen. Um, and so we really want to take that feeling of presence and see what we can do with it. Um, so the metaverse is about, yeah, continuity of identity, of self, of, of who you are, who you're with, being able to go from place to place, having shared experiences. I mean, when you and I are on a call, it just feels like we're on a call together. And that's pretty yeah. good. But here in the metaverse, we could have experiences that could be profound for us, could be a meaningful part of our relationship together. So we want to take uh, the technology that we've just all invested in so much on mobile phones and see it put to an, a greater purpose of connecting people in a way that really hasn't been possible until now. Well, like that's incredible. Meta and Qualcomm, we actually been working on this when nobody thought <laughs> was possible, right? That's right. I, I remember for 10 years talking about virtual reality, augmented reality, and, and a lot of uh, skeptics saying, you know, that's not possible, there's no market for it, but now people really understand. And what I really love about the collaboration between the two companies, this is really two companies, they're leaders in their space, that put in our respective minds together to do something that is really amazing and new. From a Qualcomm standpoint, we knew that we needed to create, you know, semiconductor chipset solutions, harder, softer, that will make, you know, everything always connected, high performance, low power, because the form factor, thermal, all the things are different. And from a meta standpoint, you had the understanding how to make this happen. So can you tell everyone a little bit about this collaboration that has been between the two companies yeah we just we simply wouldn't be here without it <laughs> and i mean here you know uh the the, the quest 2 is one of those things that is really mind-blowing when people first experience it and that is uh the culmination really yeah of a huge amount of work that we've partnered with uh, qualcomm on over quite a yeah years and years now um long before anyone thought VR was going to be good or going to be mainstream long before the metaverse was really a, a serious whisper in people's minds. We knew where we were going with this thing. Um, and we really could not have gotten there without the very close partnership we've had with Qualcomm. And of course, this is just the beginning. You know, this is kind of the, the big reveal, let's say, uh, of our partnership working in VR together. But it certainly uh, it goes on from here. So and I'm thrilled to bring it into augmented reality, bring it into the wearables that will kind of stitch together to create that constellation of devices that helps people have that rich experience that they want to have, whether they're in virtual reality or augmented reality. So, um, yeah, this has been a vision that we've held somewhat in secret, I'd say, <laughs> for a little while, almost for fear of saying it out loud and being kind of made fun of, I suppose. And now that it's out there. Um, you kind of see the enthusiasm for it. It's, it's, the reactions are all over the map, of course, but um, if people have spent a little time in virtual reality, they get it. Like, it doesn't take that long. It takes five minutes in a headset. They get it. And it just, it just wouldn't be possible without the, the Qualcomm partnership that we have. No, look, I, I really appreciate it. We're super excited about this partnership. And I'm going to tell you one thing. You know, from somebody that I was working in the mobile industry, I think for generations after generations we've been seeking from when will be the the generation of wireless that will make video telephony a killer application we talk about that in totally. 2G, we talk about that in 4g and it took a pandemic for that to become a killer application now people understand the value of telepresence the value of connecting physical and digital sure. spaces the value of connecting people together so from a qualcomm standpoint 
we have a conviction and that's why we start investing in the fundamental technologies to make devices for the metaverse about 10 years ago because we believe it is the next computing platform and it's going to be as big as phones what is yeah. meta view of that yeah i mean so no surprise we, we really feel the same way i think it has the potential to be even bigger than um, laptops and desktops for productivity and collaboration. You know, if you really could have your team working from anywhere and have the richness of this kind of an environment where you could load up models, you could load up schematics, you could load up what you need to work on together, um, and then be, you know, able to have immense solo productivity eventually too with massive screens that have all the information that you need at, at one place. You know, your entire workstation, your desktop with you in a headset, tremendous power and opportunity to grow and be big. And then I think augmented reality is the thing that ultimately supersedes mobile. Uh, you know, I think augmented reality, uh, you're on the go, you take it with you, it's always contextually relevant. You don't have to take it out of your pocket. You've got the ability to, to capture, to share, to learn in real time. All of it's going to be powered by immense artificial intelligence that's helping you process and understand the world around you. Um, it all just needs power. <laughs> we know we can do it all. The potential is there. The technology can be built. We just really do need to be able to process all those image streams and, and rip those pieces apart down to the, the pieces that we need to feed the, the intelligences that are going to help you as a consumer navigate all this information. Um, and so it's almost a frustrating, tantalizingly frustrating place to be where I know it's all possible. Can we pull it all together? And it hinges on, yeah, our ability to be efficient with power and thermal space uh, in these tiny form factors because we're going to put it on someone's head. Awesome. We're incredibly excited about the partnership. And as you said, I think it's just the beginning. And it's really fascinating to work on technology that actually can change the world. And I think that's what uh, has been, you know, great motivation for everything we do at Qualcomm. Thank you both uh, for joining us uh, today. Really appreciate the opportunity. Great talking to you in the metaverse. Hey, you as well. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Talk to you soon.